Hello everyone, it's Meg and welcome to another video. Today's video is going to be a reading vlog for a specific book and that book is Nick and Charlie by Alice Oseman. This is a novella for, it's technically it's a solitaire novella which is one of Alice's other books but I guess it's kind of a heart stopper novella as well and if you didn't already know from this channel I love Alice's books and I also love Heartstopper. It's probably my favourite graphic novel and I only got this in the post yesterday and I was debating whether to do a vlog or not because it is about 600, 160 pages roughly but I've decided I'm going to do it um, because I think it's going to be cute and fun and I just want to vlog my experience reading this. So I'm going to start it tonight. It is in quite big text so I'd like to think I'm going to finish it quite quickly and it's also got some illustrations as well and I just love like the part three bit like all the sections with the uh, illustrations in and it's just so cute and I'm so looking forward to getting it and also the sign sticker is just like super cute as well um yeah just thought I would do it and as you can see I'm actually vlogging in my garden which I never ever do because everybody is always home but I have had the house to myself today because my parents took my sister down to London to back to uni so I've had the house to myself today which is very nice and it is very warm or it has been very warm today. Uh, so I have come back from sorting the horses about half an hour ago, it is 8 o'clock now and I've got my tea in the oven, I've got some ratatouille lasagna which is a Bosch recipe and I highly recommend. So I'm going to chill this evening until they come home and I'm going to catch up on Canada's Drag Race. I might try and watch it out here because it is still pretty warm. Um, but yeah, that's my plan for the evening and I thought I would just vlog this. I will start reading this at some point this evening. Don't know when, um, if, maybe before I've gone to bed, but I'm very much looking forward to reading this as this takes place two years after the third volume of Heartstopper, which is out, is the latest volume that is out, like in paperback, when I'm filming this vlog. Uh, so it's about when Nick is going off to university and about his and Charlie's relationship because obviously Charlie's a year younger so he's still in his final year six form. So it's kind of about their relationship and where it's going to go and if they are going to stick to being together long distance and all of that sort of thing. So very much looking forward to reading this, like I said, and I cannot wait to start it. So, like I said, I told you all my plans for this evening, and I'm just going to chill for the rest of the evening because I'm working tomorrow and Saturday, and I've got a lot of baking to do tomorrow because apparently we are out of cake, so that's super fun, but at least everybody's eating the cake. Uh, so yeah, so I think I'm going to go and pick some salad leaves for my tea from our veggie patch, and then hopefully my tea will nearly be ready. And then I can chill and watch Canis's Drag Race. It is the next day now and if you cannot tell by how hot and sweaty and messed up my hair is, I have just come back from work. It is another very hot day here in the UK. Well, I'll say another. Um, it's one of our very rare hot days and I have been dressed in black and baking all day so I'm very hot. So I have myself a peach iced tea here. But before I give you guys a reading update on Nick and Charlie, I thought I would do an unboxing because I've just had a parcel arrived and I didn't order anything, um, so we're going to open it and find out. I have a feeling I might know who this is from, but at the same time I don't know, so uh, let's just open it and find out. There's two books in here. Oh, you are an angel. Okay, these books are from Molly, from mine and Molly. She's an absolute sweetheart and she did say she was going to send me something, but she said she was going to send it me in September, um, but she sent me it now. And that is so sweet. So she's got me two books and 
The first one note on here says, I can't not buy you M's book, not only because it's M, but because it's incredible and beautiful and everything else amazing. Love you from Molly. Oh, that's so cute. And the other one says, I literally just read this and oh my god, it is amazing. Would highly recommend listening to the audiobook bit and it's such a poetic book. Thank you for being a beautiful human. Love you lots, Molly. Oh, Molly, thank you so much. So she got me two books that I really, really want to read. I just haven't got around to them yet. So the first note when she was talking about M is M's book, which is mine. And if you don't follow M, you should go and follow her. I have been meaning to read her book for absolutely ages. And I've just been a really bad friend and not got around to it yet, but I've been dying to read it for ages, ever since it came out in last year, like the end of last year, and I finally have it. And look how gorgeous the cover is. And I've heard so many good things about this. And oh, I can't wait. And it's like a floppy paperback, which is just even better. Oh my God. Thank you, Molly. I'm so excited to get to Emma's book. I think this is one I'm gonna save for like the autumn. I don't know why. It just seems to be a really good autumnal read. Um, but thank you, Molly, so, so much. And the other book that she got me is one of my most anticipated releases of the year and that is Clap When You Land by Elizabeth Azevedo and if you don't know already, if you are fairly new on my channel, Elizabeth Azevedo is one of my favourite authors. I love her books, they are written in verse, not all of them are, this is her second book that's written in verse and I love books written in verse obviously because I love poetry and I have been so excited to get to this. I've heard really good things about it. I've heard a few mixed things as well, but overall I've heard some amazing things and I, I cannot wait to read it. Thank you, Molly, so much. You are an absolute angel and I genuinely cannot wait to read these books. Like, I am so freaking excited. So that has literally made my day. I've had quite a busy and tiring and hot and frustrating day at work today. So that was honestly the perfect fit me up like oh my friends are just the best I'm so grateful to have such absolutely wonderful friends <sighs> that just made my day I am just yes just yes I have nothing more to say thank you Mol you are amazing so now let's get on to a little reading update and I started Nick and Charlie last night I think yes I did start it last night and this morning and I am on page 44 and this is told in kind of like a diary format to a certain extent it's a dual perspective so you have Nick's perspective and Charlie's perspective and I'm t I'm, I kind of have that many thoughts on it yet it's taken me a little while to get used to these characters in like novel format like the way and from their like first perspective because obviously in a graphic novel it's there's less words and there's pictures so like we have to kind of imagine them more than seeing the pictures of them of like speech bubbles of what they're saying but they, there are some comic strips in here as well and some like text um they are sort of multimedia to a, like a very low extent uh but i'm enjoying it so far and this is basically covered like the last day of nick's stay like time in high school in sixth form and it's kind of we're already getting into the thing about how charlie feels about nick like he knows he's excited like Nick is really excited to go to uni but he's also feels like Charlie feels like he's being left behind and even though they are quite good at talking about deep stuff like Charlie doesn't want to bring it up on Nick because he feels like he will kind of ruin well not ruin but he doesn't want to dampen Nick's excitement for going to uni um but I am enjoying it so far. I, it's take, I'm not quite into the story yet, um, but hopefully I will be soon in the next couple of chapters. I've nearly finished part one, I think. It's in about six chapters? Six parts even, sorry. Um, but yeah, very much enjoying what I have read so far. Um, hopefully I will get into it a bit more, like I said, a little bit later on. Um, but yeah, so that is my reading update for the time being and it's around half five now so i got in from work uh, about 10 minutes ago 10 15 minutes ago um so this evening i need to have a shower i am going to thank molly for my absolutely wonderful gifts um i need to go sort the horses out this evening because i am 
looking after my yard owner's horses while she is away. Um, so I need to do that this evening and then I may do a bit of writing or edit a video, one or the other. Um, and catch up on Canada's Drag Race because I watched it last night and I really really enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments if you have been watching Canada's Drag Race. I'm tempted to say it's even better than regular Drag Race. Like, I don't, I just, it's so good. Like, there's just something about it that's just like, even better. I don't know what it is, but I love it. Um, and I love the queens and yeah, it's fab. So yeah, that's my plan. So I'm going to just chill for a bit, maybe play a bit of Animal Crossing and drink my iced tea so I can cool down a bit, probably change into something a bit lighter. Um, and then we will see what the rest of the evening brings. And obviously I'm gonna do a bit of reading as well. So this is actually Saturday now. I didn't update you guys on my reading yesterday. I was going to, but I had a really, really busy day at work and then I came home, I had a, like a moment to chill and then I obviously had tea and then I edited my video for today for the rest of the evening and that video is now up and will be obviously be up before this video is. Um, but obviously I will give you an update on my reading for Nick and Charlie and I am on page 122 so I'm over halfway through now. Sorry, my door is creaking because it is very warm and you might be able to hear stuff because the window is also open. Um, but I'm definitely getting into this a lot more now. We've had a point where something has happened in between Nick and Charlie and, and now obviously that has happened and we are at the part now where they are kind of trying to come to a realisation of like they need to do something to resolve what has happened and they don't really know how to go about it. Um, and I find it probably quite a relatable book to quite a lot of people if they are in relationships, especially when they are in a situation that Nick and Charlie are in specifically. But yeah, I guess it's just a book in that sense that it's quite relatable to people about the technicalities and the... I wouldn't, I wouldn't exactly say there are advantages to long distance relationships, but kind of like the difficulties that come with being in a long distance relationship and figuring it out and how it's going to work and all that sort of thing. It's not something I can personally relate to, but I feel like in that sense it is a book that I feel like quite a few people will be able to relate to. But yeah, I'm very much enjoying this and I am hoping I might be able to finish it today. I don't feel like this vlog is going to be very long, so I may read another book in this vlog, apart from this one, because obviously this is very short and I did want to do a solo review for this, but I feel like I might just do another um, book in this video as well, just because it'd be fun, it might make a video a bit longer, uh, but yeah, so today is my day off and it is just so nice, I have had a nice morning up at the yard, I have just been watching Canada's Drag Race and I don't have any plans today, I need to clean my room, but apart from that I think I just want to read uh, and I want to maybe try and finish this and then start another book as well. So that's my plan. So I think I am going to find myself a comfy spot and then do some reading and see if I can finish this book at some point today. <laughs> So it's not that much later on now, maybe half an hour roughly at the max, but I have just finished Nick and Charlie by Alice Oseman and I did end up really enjoying this book. It was super cute and fun and I loved the kind of message in it and I loved seeing Ch Nick and Charlie's relationship being taken to a new level in another direction and it was very interesting here like reading the story in a novel format instead of obviously in a graphic novel format um, and I did really enjoy it. I'm going to give it 4 out of 5 stars. I don't love it quite as so much as the graphic novel series but I still very very much enjoyed it and if you love Heartstopper I 100% recommend picking this up. I feel like it just adds another level to the story but I really enjoyed this and I'm really glad that I got to pick it up. I don't know how long this footage is for this whole video is so far but I think at least I am actually going to start another book because I'm gonna be reading Loveless like I said at the start of this video I'm doing it as a buddy read with Kira and she's just doing um reading another book at the moment for a live show that she's doing so 
we'll be reading it after she's doing that but I think for the time being I'm actually going to pick up Clap When You Land rather than Elizabeth Azevedo because it's a book I really want to read I'm really in the mood to read and also it's written in verse so it shouldn't take me too long to read it um, and I thought it'd be fun at least starting and seeing where my thoughts are on this because even though it's one of my most anticipated releases of the year I wasn't as excited about the plot personally like when I first he heard about it but it's a book by one of my favourite authors so I really wanted to give it a go I've heard a lot of good things about it and Molly was just saying how much she loved it when she gifted it to me so I'm going to start this at some point now I think I'm going to get a cup of tea and either start this or play a bit of Animal Crossing but definitely going to start this some point today and see how I get on. It is a couple of days later now and it is so stinking hot here in the UK. We are having like a heat wave and I've been working for the past two days and I'm working for the next two days. I have been so hot. I'm not kidding you. It must be like over 30 degrees. It was 29 at one point so it must be, surely it must have been over 30. Basically it's been very hot. I have been dying at work. Why I've got my hair stuck up in a bun is because I have been having very cold showers every time I get home from work because I'm so hot and sticky. Like working in catering, working in the kitchen during a heat wave is not fun. I do not recommend it. Uh, so yeah, so that is what's been happening. But look what I got from work. Ah, I got another bookshelf. Firstly, if you have not seen my video where I get new bookshelves, like my big main bookshelf. I will leave a link in the description if you want to go and check it out. Um, and I got that bookcase for free from somebody in the village. And this is a little one. This is the top of it by the way. This is how tall it goes. Um, and this is also for free. Basically we got some furniture donated to work and I've been banging on about getting a bookcase for work for ages because um, the cafe that I work at, its name relates to books. and that suggests that there should be books in the cafe so we did finally get one uh, just before lockdown and then all of a sudden we ended up getting like four extra ones and I did really want one of the other ones at work but the only issue is, is that they're all black because uh, there's this white one, this is the only white one that we have there were two tall skinny ones but they were both black and I don't want a black one in my room because it just doesn't suit my room and my other bookshelf is white so this matches and I think this is an Ikea one as well, as far as I'm aware, um, but I'm very happy with it. It's just a teeny one because we are in the part of my bedroom, like I've got some big uh, built-in wardrobes here, so I could have enough room for just a little bookshelf just at the end, and this is like the perfect fit, uh, and I'm very pleased with it. I don't really have any books to put in here right now, I have a few um, horsey autobiography books I'm going to put in here, um, but I feel like I might as well decorate it whilst I talk to you about the update on my reading for Clap When You Land by Elizabeth Azevedo and I am on page 98 and I'm not hating it but I'm not lo loving it either. So I just got some books here, they're just like rider autobiographies and that sort of thing so I'm going to put them here for the time being um, but yeah it's weird because I didn't have high hopes for this book in the first place because I the concept just generally didn't grab me as much as it did with Elizabeth's other books uh, but the re obviously I wanted to read it because number one she is one of my favourite authors and number two it's written in verse and you guys like definitely should all know how much I love writing books, uh, reading books in verse, I am writing a book in verse anyway um, so I got it and Molly very kindly gifted it me as earlier in this video, as you guys will have seen. Um, and I'm super grateful for that. Um, but just something's not clicking, I don't know what it is. Uh, 
I'm not connecting with the story, I'm not connecting with the characters. Obviously we're not that far into the story. I've heard mixed things about this book. I've heard a lot, a lot of good things. Um, but also some not like amazing things either. Um, so I'm just kind of a bit trying to make my mind up on what I think of it really. And I don't know, it's just something about it. Like I don't get a good vibe like I did with Elizabeth's other books when I did it, um, when I read them, so I don't know really, I don't have much of an answer to that. Uh, I feel like I just need to keep reading it, even though I don't really get a good feeling when I do read it. I don't know, it's really weird, I can't really explain it, um, but I'm hoping that obviously sometimes it can take me up to 100 pages to get into a book. Um, maybe even more. So I'm hoping that, that is the case with this and I don't have the audiobook because I don't think Scribd in the UK has the audiobook. Um, so I'm going to keep going with it because I feel like I will enjoy it in the end. It's just taken me a while to get into it and maybe it's just not the sort of book that I want to read right now. Um, but yeah, that's my thoughts on it. I feel like there was a really weird rumble um, of thoughts. Uh, but yeah, just thought I'd update you on that and I don't know if I'm going to carry on this vlog until I finish Clap When You Land, we will see. Uh, but yeah, so I've done my little bit of decoration now, it obviously didn't take me very long to do that and I've just not got any books really like I said but I did end up actually picking a book, book up from work as well um, which is On Chesil Beach by Ian Mc McEwen, I'm not sure how you say that. Uh, and the only reason why I want to read this book is because it's set in Dorset on Chesil Beach, which named the title, and that's where I spent, that's where my grandparents lived when I was a child growing up, and it's a place that's very special to me, so that's basically the reason why I want to read this book. And there is the film adaption as well, so I might get to this at some point. Um, but yeah, so that's my little update on reading, and you can see this, I will give you a little Close up, this is actually a bit wonky, one of the stoppers is missing but it's fine, I can fix it. Um, so let me um, take you off the tripod and then I can give you like a full view of what this looks like. And also before I actually show you what this looks like full length, I did start a new audiobook last night because I've been a bit funny on audiobooks trying to find one that I can dedicate myself to um, over the past couple of weeks. But I picked one last night because it was so hot I didn't know what to do with myself so I literally just lay on my bed and listened to an audiobook. And the one that I started listening to was Drag Teen by Jeffrey Self. And this is a cute, fun, contemporary book about a boy who wants to be a drag queen and he there is a scholarship where you take place in a drag pageant and you can get a scholarship to go to university. Um, so he takes part in it and he, he goes on a road trip to New York with his best friend and his boyfriend and it is basically about their trip and going to this pageant. And I'm enjoying it so far, I think it's quite fun. Um, I've got 4 hours and 34 minutes left, I think it's about a 6 hour audiobook so I'm fairly in the way, like a good way through it so I'm enjoying it so far. I love books about drag so it's just like a cute fun book and I'm very much enjoying it so far, so now I've updated you on my audiobook, I am, will now show you a full little view of my little new shelves. So here we have my new shelves, as you can see it's just a little three tiered one, for some reason that bottom one I can't take it off but the wood is that way around so somebody must have put it on wrong when they were originally putting it together but that's okay, so like I said Sorry, my door's creaking, it's because it's um, the wind doors are open. Um, I've got my books downstairs, I've got a RuPaul book, I've got a card that my sister made me for my birthday, my vision board, and then my cute little plant of succulents on tap. So yeah, I hope that's really cute, and like I said, it's next to my wardrobes, which are here. So it's just a nice little cute space and I think it's the perfect size just for the time being. Um, hopefully I won't fill it up anytime soon. But very happy with it. And uh, yeah, it's just great. I'm so glad that I managed to get bookshelves for free. Like that is just absolutely wonderful.
Hey guys, so it's actually about a week later now and I'm wrapping this vlog up here because I'm actually editing it now because it's my vlog that's going to be going up tomorrow and I'm sorry I didn't get to wrap this vlog up sooner but I was still reading Cut When You Land, I'm on page 154 and I was getting into it a bit more but the reason why I'm wrapping this vlog up when I'm not finishing this is because I'm actually right now filming a reading vlog for Loveless by Alice Osman so I will be getting back to this book after I finish Loveless and you will probably hear my thoughts about this book at the, my next recent reads. When I do my next recent reads videos, probably when you hear my thoughts. I do definitely care, still care, plan on carrying on and reading this book. I feel like I'm going to enjoy it a lot more because obviously I really was not very sure when I first read it before uh, in my last clip. but. I'm going to give it a go. I'm not far off from being halfway through now, so I definitely plan on picking this up after I finish Loveless and hopefully I will like it more than I was beforehand. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. It was very random again. I hope you have don't mind these really random vlogs. I think I need to uh, do like a weekend or a weekly vlog at some point because I haven't done one of those in absolutely forever. So hope you didn't mind this really random reading vlog once again. Uh, hopefully I'll have a little bit more structure to some of my other vlogs in the future. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this nonetheless. If you like this video then please make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to see more bookish videos from me then make sure you hit the subscribe button and little bell icon so you'll be noted every time I post a new video. As always, I will leave the links to my social media along with the links to my Goodreads in the description down below for you guys. But thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you so, so much. And I will see you again very soon. Bye!